Throughout the year in Texas, there are festivals complete with parades and pageants. But there's one that's rattling nerves in a unique way. Ah, yes, just mm. once a year, west of Abilene, people from all over come to take part in the Rattlesnake Roundup. The goal, to gather up and kill tens of thousands of western diamondback rattlesnakes. It's an event stepped, steeped in tradition and designed uh, in the interest of safety, but as Channel 2's Brandon Walker learned, the Roundup in Sweetwater is not without its share of controversy. In Texas's big country, I'm up there, right there. The whole deep in the caverns of the frontier. This might be a decent den, huh? There's a time of year when the cowboys ditch horse and lasso to wrangle the herd. Got a big head on. This slithering serpent, the catch of the corral, it feels the air, knowing something's run amok. It's hello, a rattle, more like a warning. That's probably the biggest snake today. It is not happy to see you. Wait, come, come here, I've got a question for you. How did I end up here? Welcome to Sweetwater, Texas. All right, what's going on you, bro? All right, come on. Where brothers Randy and Dave Powell traveled from Atlanta. They told us all these stories all our life growing up. To come full circle. Me and my little brother come back after 57 years to relive his trip. He passed away four years ago from cancer. Dad broke a record that year. It was March of 1962 when he was out here. Year four of the Rattlesnake Roundup. We're right in the middle of their habitat. This is a western diamondback rattlesnake. Rob McCann hasn't been around all 61 years, but he spent much of his life wrangling rattlers. A way of life around here, that's how the Roundup came about. The police department here were spending too much time on nuisance calls getting rattlesnakes that were actually in the city limits, so a group of farmers and ranchers got together and rounded up a whole bunch of rattlesnakes. We just keep the edge off the rattlesnake population. That's all we do. Somebody's got to mess with him a little bit. The Sweetwater JCs, short for Junior Chamber International, put on the roundup. 200 or so volunteers for the big festival, which takes place the second weekend in March. Make no mistake about it, the roundup is popular and it's growing, but not everyone likes it. In fact, some say it's no more than a bunch of people killing animals for fun. As recently as 2016, Texas Parks and Wildlife issued a report on the negative impacts of using gas to flush snakes from their homes, a common technique at the Roundup. Later that year, the agency tabled the issue due to a lack of support from either the community or legislature on moving forward with regulations. Get him, Randy! But the JC says criticism of the event is unfair. For one thing, game wardens are present for the hunts and you must have a hunting license in order to go out into the field. It's all by the book, by the law. And festival organizers say the whole snake gets used. Skins for boots and belts, meat for food. There you go. In Sweetwater, the rattlesnake is one with the landscape, the culture. The Roundup organizers say appreciates that. It's cool. Just make sure you're up for the challenge. They're beautiful reptiles. They're, you know, they're part of West Texas, just like, you know, armadillo's a part of Texas. This is just kind of a Texas icon right here. While concerns remain about the impact on other wildlife, Texas Parks and Wildlife tells us it has no plans for future action regarding the use of gasoline at events like the Roundup. However, State Representative Jessica Farrar recently introduced a bill that would prohibit the practice for non-game wildlife. That bill, though, has yet to go before committee. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.